Hey everybody, welcome to Kairos Cucina, and on this channel we encourage everyday people to live healthier by inspiring them to cook delicious food at home. Happy Mother's Day, I'm Kara DeFalco, and obviously we can't do Mother's Day without Mama D in the house. We've got a special treat for you guys. So we were discussing what you might like to do for Mother's Day. Yes. And we kind of came up with, I think, I think this is a fun idea, a fun little party. So we came up with Mother's Tea. So kind of a, a spoof on an English tea, if you will, because it's all Italian foods. <laughs> because cucumbers and cream cheese weren't going to cut it for us. <laughs> but we have there, so we, we're going to show you guys how to make um, some, a bunch of really nice little bites. Um, so you can have a nice little meal, including uh, we're going to finish everything off with a tea-based cocktail Ooh. as well for mom. So we've got that stuff kind of hanging out and brewing. We're going to start off by making our caprese bite. So I, uh, we have some crostini here, so just some toasted Italian bread. Okay. Of course, beautiful fresh mozzarella, some fresh basil, and tomatoes. So mom, if you can start, because that cheese is a little too big for our crostini here. And I'm just going to grab some basil leaves. I'm going to put these on the bottom. Or, or is the first layer, basically, just so that the leaves uh, can stay nice and flat. Yeah, then, then the mutts? Then the mutts. Oh, this smells good already. Yeah. Mm, fresh basil, you can't go wrong with that. No. This yeah. is why I like this better than cucumber and cheese. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's all the things we like, which was pretty much what we came up with. <laughs> Yeah, so we came up with a bunch of little bites, little appetizers that we're going to share with you guys that we thought sounded good. How do you come up with these ideas? <laughs> Normally talking to you. <laughs> no, we just, you know, we sat down and we thought, you know, no, what's... No, we said, we, right, we, we what's, what, threw what a couple we of eat? things back and forth, but <laughs> we definitely go with our, our favorite kind yeah. of things. So we'll slice up some tomato here. And then what are you going to put on top of these? Uh, we'll just dress them with a little oil and vinegar, right? And because we're making a couple of different things, we're going to kind of just yeah, so tear that, it, right? Tear it, yeah. So we have our little, our tiered rack like you would for a, uh, again, like, a, like tea. But we have some fun. So we're having an Italian-English tea. We're having Italian-English tea, yes. <laughs> We'll just finish these up with a little salt. Fresh pepper. Okay. And now just a little olive oil and vinegar. A little olive oil. But I was going to just space them out a little bit. Oh, okay. You want them like that? Well, I just figured it'd be easier to get the drizzle on there. Just make it look nice. We're gonna set it aside and then do it again. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, also, the edge of the plate is really not allowing for it. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, one down. We've got a few more for you. Okay. All right, so our next little bite, we did fig and prosciutto. We basically took a charcuterie board of like all of our favorite things and turned them into little mini sandwiches. So again, crostini, I just have a really good quality fig spread here and prosciutto di parma. So I'm gonna get some of the fig onto our crostini and then mom, I'm gonna have you kind of layer that prosciutto on there. Okay. Nice. I remember you had a fit. We had a tea house here in town that you used to go to a lot for lunch. You remember that? Uh, close by, not in town. Not yes, in town. there was but one nearby. close by. Yeah. I love doing stuff like that. That's a lot of fun to do. It is a lot of fun. That's, that's kind of where I got this, idea, got this from. idea from. I remember you always enjoyed that very much. I do. I enjoy things like that. <laughs> I just enjoy being with my family, though. Well, we're a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Although we both know your brother would never eat any of this kind of stuff. Well, that's okay. He's, 
he's not necessarily fun for a meal, but he's fun to hang out with. <laughs> <laughs> so what was, when we were little, what was the best Mother's Day gift that we came up with? Or one that really stood out for you? You couldn't have asked me this earlier, so I could have time so to think th about no, this. No, it's more fun if I put you on the spot. Hmm. Uh, you know, you were always, in fact, I think I showed you this recently, you always loved to cook. <laughs> you found old menus that I had written. You, had, didn't you? <laughs> used to make menus for us, or for me, to, you know, and like a breakfast menu or a lunch menu and stuff yeah. like that, and we could pick whatever we wanted. It wasn't very elaborate, but I mean, <laughs> I'm was, pretty sure it involved like it was pancakes, always, yes. farina. It was, a, it was really cute. Or eggs. Or eggs. Yeah. You used to you used to like to do stuff like that. So I think those were my most because because I, I saved the uh, menus too. <laughs> I'll have to take them out and yes, post well, them on your site one time. Yes. And so, but no, that was that was the best. I was always you know doing stuff like that. Having you make me stuff. <laughs> and then remember, we would go down to uh, Tom's River a lot because that's where Graham and Pop lived, and we would always have go out More then, for, for meals. Mother's it's Day. Basically, eating anything that we did involved eating. <laughs> well, because we would go to that. Remember, we would go to that. There was a restaurant down there. I, I don't remember the name yes. of it. We would all get together for Mother's Day down yes. there. How are these coming out? They're beautiful. Perfect. They're looking great. Yeah. Did you know that? Yes. <laughs> no, actually, I didn't, but I'm glad it worked out. <laughs> I can't. This is. We've got each piece between a slice of. I think that little piece is for quality control that got left over there. Go ahead. You can have it. If you could get it off. If the I can paper. get it off the piece. <laughs> you, you could get it off. You can have it. All right. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah, these look great. Okay. Fig and prosciutto. Fig and prosciutto. Mm. Okay, so for our last savory bite, we picked our other favorite cold cut, which is mortadella. <laughs> mortadella. Mortadella. So I just have some focaccia bread, that homemade focaccia bread, which you can get our the recipe at the website, or I'll include it in the uh, link in the description below. So we've got our focaccia, our mortadella, and then just some fresh rosemary. So again, kind of just cutting them into little Little bites here, and I kind of started making some sandwiches for you there. Mom's gonna. I'm putting this in between the two the yeah. pieces like that. Yeah, and we that. cut the pieces of mortadella in half just because they happen to be big. Big pieces there. Wait. You gave That's me... the bottom. That's the top. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I thought this would look cute. No. Oh, there you go. Instead of a little toothpick. It doesn't have to be on all of them, but look how cute that looks. <laughs> That. I like you. I know you do. Thank you. <laughs> what are we doing? Bottoms and top tops? Bottom, top okay, bottom. Thank you. <laughs> I, this is my new favorite. I love mortadella. I love mortadella. Mm -hmm. And this is, it's really, because the mortadella I feel like is so rich and flavorful, it really doesn't need anything else with it. No, this just, is just to make it look this pretty. This is just to make it look pretty. Yeah, no, but I'm saying, in you know, it doesn't need a spread, it doesn't really need cheese. No, because I could eat this. Just really by itself. Exactly. <laughs> Pieces of rosemary, a little. We don't need the sun all of them because it looks like we're in a forest. Little trees. We're making a forest over there. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's just gonna have to be on the top tier when we put yeah, them on Yeah, exactly, our because it's not gonna fit. <laughs> Your palm trees. There's nothing wrong with palm trees. No, nothing at all. Cute, Jack. I like these. Yeah. It smells, it smells delicious. I know. We We're still really, one of these days we gotta get the smell of vision <laughs> thing working. Right. Can we fit more? Yeah. Absolutely. You're done with your rosemary? Oh, you got one more? I got one more. Okay. You want me to make more things? I think we got more? the last three. Yeah, yeah let's might as well get finish them up. Because we know we'll need it. I was going to say, because it's not going to waste in this house. One extra piece of mortadella. Oh, what a shame. Uh, 
It's Mother's Day, I'll let you have it. That's quite all right. <laughs> I'll have this. <laughs> all right, let's clean up and then we're gonna make our sweet bite and our cocktail. All right. Okay, so for our final bite, we came up with something a little bit sweet. So um, rugotta toast is one of my favorite things, particularly This is for yours, because I didn't not know that we were doing this. This, yeah, is, this, this looks is, fabulous. Yeah, so this is me. So we've got some fresh rugotta cheese, which again, another one of our favorites, mm -hmm. of course. Um, I'm gonna mix this though with a little bit of vanilla bean paste and some honey, and I'm gonna have you slice up some strawberries for us, and then we're gonna okay. combine them all together. And it's going on these crostinis? It's going on those crostinis, yes. So. And I love vanilla bean paste instead of the extract because it's not alcohol based. Oh. Yeah. So, just a little bit, it doesn't have to be too sweet because I think the berries are sweet enough. Like this carrot, okay? Yeah, thank you. Also with the vanilla bean paste, you see you get the little vanilla seeds in there that you can see. I think these strawberries are huge. Those I strawberries are huge. I don't know. I think one is, one is good plenty. enough, no? <laughs> so would you put some honey in there too? Yeah, a little bit of honey just to sweeten it. Just a touch. This looks good. And now the strawberry? Yeah. I'm like dropping them all. Oh, come on. We should have one. Oh, no. Anyway, I'll say so. Okay. That's easy to do. Why wouldn't you have a drizzle that with balsamic? Would you? We could put a little balsamic on these if you'd like. Yeah. I, know, I always like that. I you? always like it. Grab it. Looks like chocolate. I know. About better. About better. <laughs> okay, let's make our cocktail and we can enjoy our tea. Sounds good to me. Okay, so we can't have mother's tea without tea, but... I know, but this looks very interesting we, to me. We decided to have some fun with this with the help of my friend Beth Nydek, who's the author of Clean Cocktails. So this is actually the recipe out of her book. So it's a tea-based cocktail. So Thanks, Beth, because this looks amazing. Yeah, so I'm really excited. So, Mom, what I have here is this is a ginger syrup. So it's uh, fresh ginger and lemon, a little bit of honey. Brought it to a boil. This has been hanging out. I'm going to ask you just to strain that into that glass. Sure. And then I'm going to start building the rest of our cocktails. So I have some more fresh ginger here. That's going to go in the base of our mixer. And I'm actually going to cut this last little piece of lemon in half. We're going to get... <laughs> Was this measured out? Was it measured out? Yeah, why? I just pulled a bunch of it. Oh, that's quite all right. <laughs> <laughs> we really only need it for a few. Okay. Oh, it smells so good, Karen. It's gonna, it's gonna last. So that syrup, the, the syrups in uh, Beth's book will all last in the fridge for a couple of months. So you can make them, make extra, and stash them in a, a glass container. You just don't have me pour them. Just. <laughs> that can hang out there for now. It smells mm. good, right? It smells amazing. Yeah. Do you smell it? Mm. Yeah, that'll, that's what I love about Beth's books. All the, all, all the ingredients, everything, you know, well, alcohol is generally not considered something good for you. She mixes it all with stuff that, that is. And what is this pink stuff? Uh, so that's our tea. So this is, her original recipe calls for jasmine tea, but I thought I wanted something kind of pink for Mother's Day. So this is rose and mint tea. My favorite color. Yes, yeah, so I figured you would enjoy that. Okay, so we've got our ginger, our lemon juice. Uh, I'm gonna go with a little bit of gin. Again, the original recipe says vodka. I happen to like gin. I you happen like to like vodka. Okay, you well. You should have made it vodka, but can, okay. We can switch. Okay. All right. We'll switch later. We'll switch later. So I have a little bit of that. And now we're gonna grab our tea. Okay. That can all go in there. All of it? Yep. Perfect. And a little bit of our simple syrup here as well. Okay. Okay. And then mom, if you could put some ice in our glasses there. Oh, I'm so excited. So careful and delicate. <laughs> My hand is wet, I can't get the lid off. See, that's why. <laughs> Okay. 
So this is not your mama's normal tea, huh? No, this is not your mama's normal tea. I have one more. I'm just gonna stick yeah, it in there. Is that okay? Absolutely. We'll get some fresh lemon slices to garnish with. Okay. Did you put that in? Not yet. We're gonna top it with that. Oh. Look how pretty. Isn't that pretty? So then this is just a little bit of seltzer water. And we'll just top each one. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. Little lemon. What do you think, Mariucci? You ready for your Mother's Day tea? I am very excited. I think it looks fabulous. Thank you. Okay, Mom, which one of our bites would you like to start with? Oh, I don't know. I don't know which one I want. I think I have to have mortadella. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. This one looks delicious. I think we did a pretty good job on this one. I like this. I like this idea. I like this a lot. Yes, I'm going to grab the same thing because mortadella is my favorite too. Okay. All right, so I have to ask you, what is, what's your favorite part about being a mom? <laughs> going to make me cry now. <laughs> My favorite part of being a mom is being able to see you and your brother grow into the wonderful people that you both have become and to see you successful. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoy your Mother's Day tea, our little spoof here. Thank you. This was not fair. We just <laughs> <laughs> drink your and cocktail. Now, we get to drink. now you get to drink your cocktail. <laughs> Salute. I love you. Honey. I love you very much. Thank you for always helping me out with everything. Because if you guys haven't seen already, if you don't know, not when she's on camera, she's on camera, but she's always running around behind the scenes, cutting stuff, prepping something, cleaning something. This show does not go on without this woman. So Thank happy you, Mother's baby. Day. I love you. I love Salute. You more. Happy Mother's Day to all our moms out there to be, to come, to become, and uh, who have been for quite some time. We love you guys. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. We hope you have a great day. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Salute. Mmm, oh, that's really good. <laughs>